Today the topic which I'm gonna share with you people is DASH diet. What is DASH diet? Sodium level. What to eat. Alcohol and caffeine. Weight loss. Tips to cut back on sodium. If you want to maintain your health stay in shape then keep watching this video till end. If you like this video give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel, keep your notification on. What is DASH diet? DASH diet. Healthy eating to lower your blood pressure The DASH diet emphasizes the right portion sizes, variety of foods and nutrients. Discover how DASH can improve your health and lower your blood pressure. DASH stands for Dietary Approaches to Stop Hypertension. The DASH diet is a lifelong approach to healthy eating that's designed to help treat or prevent high blood pressure hypertension. The DASH diet plan was developed to lower blood pressure without medication in research sponsored by the National Institutes of Health. The DASH diet encourages you to reduce the sodium in your diet and eat a variety of foods rich in nutrients that help lower blood pressure, such as potassium, calcium and magnesium. DASH diet, sodium levels. The DASH diet emphasizes vegetables, fruits and low-fat dairy foods, and moderate amounts of whole grains, fish, poultry and nuts. In addition to the standard DASH diet, there is also a lower sodium version of the diet. You can choose the version of the diet that meets your health needs. Standard DASH diet. You can consume up to 2300 mg mg of sodium a day. Lower sodium DASH diet. You can consume up to 1500 mg of sodium a day. Both versions of the DASH diet aim to reduce the amount of sodium in your diet compared with what you might get in a typical American diet, which can amount to a whopping 3400 mg of sodium a day or more. The standard DASH diet meets the recommendation from the dietary guidelines for Americans to keep daily sodium intake to less than 2,300 mg a day. The American Heart Association recommends 1,500 mg a day of sodium as an upper limit for all adults. If you aren't sure what sodium level is right for you, talk to your doctor. DASH diet, what to eat. Both versions of the DASH diet include lots of whole grains, fruits, vegetables and low-fat dairy products. The DASH diet also includes some fish, poultry and legumes, and encourages a small amount of nuts and seeds a few times a week. You can eat red meat, sweets and fats in small amounts. The DASH diet is low in saturated fat, trans fat and total fat. Here's a look at the recommended servings from each food group for the 2000 calorie a day DASH diet. Grains. 6 to 8 servings a day. Grains include bread, cereal, rice and pasta. Examples of one serving of grains include one slice whole wheat bread, one ounce dry cereal, or one half cup cooked cereal, rice or pasta. Focus on whole grains because they have more fiber and nutrients than do refined grains. For instance, use brown rice instead of white rice, whole wheat pasta instead of regular pasta and whole grain bread instead of white bread. Look for products labeled, 100% whole grain, or, 100% whole wheat. Grains are naturally low in fat. Keep them this way by avoiding butter, cream and cheese sauces. Vegetables, 4 to 5 servings a day. Tomatoes, carrots, broccoli, sweet potatoes, greens and other vegetables are full of fiber, vitamins, and such minerals as potassium and magnesium. Examples of one serving include one cup raw leafy green vegetables or one half cup cut up raw or cooked vegetables. Don't think of vegetables only as side dishes, a hearty blend of vegetables served over brown rice or whole wheat noodles can serve as the main dish for a meal. Fresh and frozen vegetables are both good choices. When buying frozen and canned vegetables, choose those labeled as low sodium or without added salt. To increase the number of servings you fit in daily, be creative. In a stir-fry, for instance, cut the amount of meat in half and double up on the vegetables. Fruits. 4 to 5 servings a day. Many fruits need little preparation to become a healthy part of a meal or snack. Like vegetables, they're packed with fiber, potassium and magnesium and are typically low in fat, coconuts are an exception. Examples of one serving include one medium fruit, one half cup fresh, frozen or canned fruit, or four ounces of juice. Have a piece of fruit with meals and one as a snack, then round out your day with a dessert of fresh fruits topped with a dollop of low-fat yogurt. Leave on edible peels whenever possible. 
The peels of apples, pears and most fruits add interesting texture to recipes and contain healthy nutrients and fiber. Remember that citrus fruits and juices, such as grapefruit, can interact with certain medications, so check with your doctor or pharmacist to see if they're okay for you. If you choose canned fruit or juice, make sure no sugar is added. Dairy, 2 to 3 servings a day. Milk, yogurt, cheese and other dairy products are major sources of calcium, vitamin D and protein. But the key is to make sure that you choose dairy products that are low fat or fat free because otherwise they can be a major source of fat, and most of it is saturated. Examples of one serving include 1 cup skim or 1% milk, 1 cup low fat yogurt, or 1 and a half ounces part skim cheese. Low fat or fat free frozen yogurt can help you boost the amount of dairy products you eat while offering a sweet treat. Add fruit for a healthy twist. If you have trouble digesting dairy products, choose lactose-free products or consider taking an over-the-counter product that contains the enzyme lactase, which can reduce or prevent the symptoms of lactose intolerance. Go easy on regular and even fat-free cheeses because they are typically high in sodium. Lean meat, poultry and fish, 6 1-ounce servings or fewer a day. Meat can be a rich source of protein, B vitamins, iron and zinc. Choose lean varieties and aim for no more than 6 1-ounce servings a day. Cutting back on your meat portion will allow room for more vegetables. Examples of one serving include one egg or one ounce of cooked meat, poultry or fish. Trim away skin and fat from poultry and meat and then bake, broil, grill or roast instead of frying in fat. Eat heart-healthy fish, such as salmon, herring and tuna. These types of fish are high in omega-3 fatty acids, which are healthy for your heart. Nuts, seeds and legumes, 4 to 5 servings a week. Almonds, sunflower seeds, kidney beans, peas, lentils and other foods in this family are good sources of magnesium, potassium and protein. They're also full of fiber and phytochemicals, which are plant compounds that may protect against some cancers and cardiovascular disease. Serving sizes are small and are intended to be consumed only a few times a week because these foods are higher in calories. Examples of one serving include one third cup nuts, two tablespoons seeds or nut butter, or one half cup cooked beans or peas. Nuts sometimes get a bad rap because of their fat content, but they contain healthy types of fat, monounsaturated fat and omega-3 fatty acids. Nuts are high in calories, however, so eat them in moderation. Try adding them to stir fries, salads or cereals. Soybean-based products, such as tofu and tempeh, can be a good alternative to meat because they contain all of the amino acids your body needs to make a complete protein, just like meat. Fats and oils, 2 to 3 servings a day. Fat helps your body absorb essential vitamins and helps your body's immune system. But too much fat increases your risk of heart disease, diabetes and obesity. The DASH diet strives for a healthy balance by limiting total fat to less than 30% of daily calories from fat, with a focus on the healthier monounsaturated fats. Examples of one serving include 1 teaspoon soft margarine, 1 tablespoon mayonnaise or 2 tablespoons salad dressing. Saturated fat and trans fat are the main dietary culprits in increasing your risk of coronary artery disease. DASH helps keep your daily saturated fat to less than 6% of your total calories by limiting use of meat, butter, cheese, whole milk, cream and eggs in your diet, along with foods made from lard, solid shortenings, and palm and coconut oils. Avoid trans fat, commonly found in such processed foods as crackers, baked goods and fried items. Read food labels on margarine and salad dressing so that you can choose foods that are lowest in saturated fat and free of trans fat. Sweets, 5 servings or fewer a week. You don't have to banish sweets entirely while following the DASH diet, just go easy on them. Examples of one serving include 1 tablespoon sugar, jelly or jam, 1 half cup sorbet, or 1 cup lemonade. When you eat sweets, choose those that are fat-free or low-fat such as sorbets, fruit ices, jelly beans, hard candy, graham crackers or low-fat cookies. Artificial sweeteners such as aspartame, NutraSweet, Equal, and Sucralose, Splenda, may help satisfy your sweet tooth while sparing the sugar. But remember that you still must use them sensibly. It's okay to swap a diet cola for a regular cola, but not in place of a more nutritious beverage such as low-fat milk or even plain water. Cut back on added sugar, which has no nutritional value but can pack on calories. 
Dash diet, alcohol and caffeine. Drinking too much alcohol can increase blood pressure. The Dietary Guidelines for Americans recommends that men limit alcohol to no more than two drinks a day and women to one or less. The DASH diet doesn't address caffeine consumption. The influence of caffeine on blood pressure remains unclear. But caffeine can cause your blood pressure to rise at least temporarily. If you already have high blood pressure or if you think caffeine is affecting your blood pressure, talk to your doctor about your caffeine consumption. DASH diet and weight loss. While the DASH diet is not a weight loss program, you may indeed lose unwanted pounds because it can help guide you toward healthier food choices. The DASH diet generally includes about 2,000 calories a day. If you're trying to lose weight, you may need to eat fewer calories. You may also need to adjust your serving goals based on your individual circumstances, something your health care team can help you decide. Tips to cut back on sodium. The foods at the core of the DASH diet are naturally low in sodium. So just by following the DASH diet, you're likely to reduce your sodium intake. You also reduce sodium further by using sodium-free spices or flavorings with your food instead of salt not adding salt when cooking rice, pasta or hot cereal rinsing canned foods to remove some of the sodium buying foods labeled, no salt added, sodium-free, low sodium, or, very low sodium, one teaspoon of table salt has 2,325 milligrams of sodium. When you read food labels, you may be surprised at just how much sodium some processed foods contain. Even low-fat soups, canned vegetables, ready-to-eat cereals and sliced turkey from the local deli, foods you may have considered healthy, often have lots of sodium. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.